In this video, I'm going to be talking about two things, Dalton's Law of Partial Pressures and also Mole Fraction. Both of these concepts apply to mixtures of gases. And so I have here a graphic that is showing a mixture of gases made by combining five moles of helium gas with two moles of neon gas to give us a total of seven moles of gas in the mixture. And then I also have under this the pressures of the pure helium gas, the pure neon gas, and then the pressure of the mixture of gases as well. Dalton's law of partial pressures says that the total pressure of a mixture of gases is going to be equal to the sum of the partial pressures of each individual gas in the mixture. So what I'm writing here is that the total pressure, P total, of a mixture of gases comes from the partial pressure of gas A plus the partial pressure of gas B and so on for all of the different gases in the mixture. The way that we could apply Dalton's law of partial pressures to this set down here is we could say that the total pressure of our mixture of gases, so P total of the mixture of gases, which would be this flask right here, that is equal to the partial pressure of the helium gas plus the partial pressure of the neon gas. We can see, because we calculated this in the previous video, that the total pressure of our mixture of gases is 157 atmospheres. And also in the previous video, we calculated that the pressure of just the helium gas all by itself was 112 atmosphere, and the pressure of the neon gas all by itself was 45 atmosphere. So we can see with, this, with these numbers that Dalton's law of partial pressures holds true. Now, the second thing that we're talking about is mole fraction. A mole fraction is abbreviated with a capital X and a subscript of whatever the formula may be for the gas that we are describing with this mole fraction. So I'm just going to say subscript A, we would read this as mole fraction of gas A. The mole fraction of gas A is going to be equal to the total number of moles of gas A in this mixture divided by the total number of moles of gas period. So to calculate the mole fraction, first of all, we need to have a mixture of gases. Second of all, we need to know how many moles of each type of gas are present in the mixture. Looking at this mixture of gases right here, we could calculate the mole fraction of the helium gases. In our graphic, helium is represented by these green spheres. There are five helium, five moles of helium gas in this mixture. So the number of moles of helium gas is five, and we're gonna divide that by the total number of moles of gas in this mixture, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the mole fraction of helium for this mixture is five sevenths, and we could convert that to a decimal if we would like, but I don't want to do that. We could also calculate the mole fraction of the neon gas in this mixture. That is going to be the moles of neon, which is two, divided by the total number of moles of gas in the mixture, again, seven. Um, as you can imagine, when you add up all of the mole fractions of all of the gases in a mixture, they always need to add up to one. One of the really interesting things about mole fraction is that we can actually use it with the total pressure of a gas mixture to calculate the partial pressures of each individual gas. The partial pressure of any gas in a mixture, we'll just say partial pressure of gas A, is going to be equal to the mole fraction of gas A times the total pressure of all of the gases in the mixture. So let's take this equation and see if it actually holds true for this mixture of gases that we have down here. If we use this equation for calculating the partial pressures of our gases, we would say that the partial pressure of our helium gas can be calculated by taking the mole fraction of helium, which is 5 sevenths, and multiplying that by the total pressure of all of the gases in the mixture, which is 157 atmospheres. So 5 sevenths times 157 atmospheres. If we pull the calculator out and do the math, this works out to be 112 atmospheres, which is what we calculated for the partial pressure of helium. And let's do the same thing for our neon. The partial pressure of neon, if we want to calculate it using this equation right here, we would take the mole fraction of neon, 
which is two sevenths, and we would multiply it by the total pressure of the gases in this mixture, 157 atmospheres. And if we do the math on this, it works out to be 45 atmospheres for the partial pressure of neon, which is exactly what we calculated for the neon.